makes me can't help but swing it, boy. Swing it, brother, swing. Don't stop to diddle daddle. Welcome to another edition of Razor's Edge for Rookies. My name is Reese Williams, and today I'm going to be teaching you a very simple, time-efficient trick for creating a birthday query that you can then generate a label or an envelope. And what this is really for is, you know, every development office seems to have difficulty with uh, keeping their donor base happy. And instead of sending a piece of mail asking for money, it's really easy if you keep track of the date of birth to be able to generate a monthly list of all the people who have birthdays. And I'm going to show you how to do this and hopefully it'll cheer up a little bit of your donor base each month. So let's jump right in. What I'm going to do is start by creating a new query of anyone that has a birthday in the next month. Now one of the cool things that Razor's Edge has when it does a birthday, if you look under constituent information, one of the fields is birth date, and then you bring it into your criteria in a query, you can actually choose these options. Notice it says this month, any year, last month, any year, or next month, any year. And this is a nifty little tool because if you set a reminder for yourself near the end of a month, you don't have to build a new query. You just run it and it would show all the people who have birthdays next month. So what I'm going to do is just go look and make sure I have the right information. So when I run my query and I'm building this in August, you'll see that here's my list of people in the sample database. All of them have a birthday in September. It doesn't matter the year. Now, from here, I would just save it and I would call it something like this, next month's birthdays. And then using this query, I can then build a label. Well, let's say I'm going to do a label or an envelope. It really doesn't matter at whatever you guys want to do at your organization, but you'd go to mail, you go to labels, and we'll say new, and you'll choose from this option here where it says include selected the query you just built. Now, if you're like me, you hate searching through all these queries, so an easy trick to find the query you just built is go find the one you just built that day, and you'll see it pops up pretty quick. Now, from here, if you've had any experience in the mail module, you'll know that you can go pick the type of label you want. You're probably using something like an Avery 5163 across and down. You can change the font. You can change the size. You can do all of that kind of thing. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this my birthday labels. And to make it even faster, I'm just going to put it onto my home page where I don't even have to go look for it anymore. Now you'll see I sort of modified my home page to be very convenient, and I will actually have a section called labels. So now when my reminder comes up and it says, hey, it's time to do my birthday labels, a real easy trick for me is I would go to my mailings, I'd open up labels, and there's my birthday labels. And by clicking it, what would happen is it's going to generate a label for every person that has a birthday. Now, it's really easy. If you can see this, you know that you had 10. So if you have a big box of birthday cards, you get out 10, you've got your 10 labels, pass that card around your office, get everyone to sign it, say something nice to the person, and just watch. This actually has a really powerful, easy, good effect on making your donor base feel much more appreciated and happy. So that's your tip for the day. If you need any more training for Razor's Edge, check us out at razorsedgeforrookies.com, and thank you for your time.